Greetings, citizens. Just a guy has arrived. We are back with the Pokemon White Poke Ranger Nuzlocke. And uh, we have a, have a sleeping little alligator, crocodile, whatever you are. I mean, you just wake up after that battle with that Ardino it had, or whatever the hell it was. I don't even remember anymore. But yeah, we're going to wake him up and uh, then get on with our business. I really would like to see if we can get him evolved. I mean, before we go to the gym, we'll, we'll let everyone else slide a little. Because, you know, I think I think, I think think we're fine, but I want to evolve him first. You know, at least. Excuse us. Anyway, how you doing today, citizens? I'm doing all right. It's, it's a nice Saturday, as you can see by the date that is just right there. So, anyone want to battle? I don't think anyone's here that's want to battle me. Anyone? Anyone? Anybody? Do you want to battle me? Oh, that's right, you did battle me. Boom! Hooray. Good for you. Good for you, mister. Alright. Let's go see if we can get some on, an on Dino real quick. What level are you again, buddy? 27. What do you evolve at? I have no idea. Let's see if we can get just one, maybe one Dino, maybe two. Let's just ram into this girl for a bit. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. No, don't worry. I'm engaged. It's okay. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing or improper. It's fine. Okay? Just just don't mind this. Don't mind this. Don't mind this. It's fine. So, citizens. So, citizens, how are you doing on this fine day? I mean, I have no idea when you'll actually see this, but... No. What? Oh, that was me. Done. So, yeah. I hope you're doing wonderful and peachy, you know, and edgy. You know, E3 was uh, this past uh, week, and, you know, it was interesting. I don't think we heard... Oh, whoops. I got into battle. Yeah, we didn't hear much of uh, anything, I don't think. Did we? Let me know if we did. Um, Oh, yes, we did. I guess if you're, if you're watching this, you probably like Nintendo games. We got Metroid news. We got a DLC amiibo for uh, Zelda. That's that's exciting, am I right? So, yeah, there, there was some stuff. I don't know. Let, let me tell you, here's what happened with me, you know. I kind of stopped following it after uh, after Sony's, you know. I didn't really get to the... I saw, I saw that on Nintendo. I was like, oh... You know, we've got a, a freaking uh, Ever Oasis demo up, you know, right? I was like, oh, that's cool. That, that, that title looked interesting to me. Right, so I go to the eShop, I download it, right? Then I go to the my uh, thing to open it. Then I see, oh, right, Nintendo demos, even a first-party freaking title, 30 uses. Close my 3DS, and I'm going back to not touching it. I mean, like, uh, Nintendo, why the hell was this a thing? Why... Was that ever a thing for first-party titles? On top of that, I mean, is it like do you have this idea that oh, if we if we make put it in their minds that you know it's limited, they'll have to buy the games. Is that is that it? I mean, that, first of all, it's just sleazy as shit, and I know other people that do that do that kind of thing. Oh, 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 thank you, perfect spot. But it's like to me, it's just like no, I, I don't. It just reminds me why I think your company is full of bullshit. And I know I shouldn't be saying this while I'm doing Nintendo stuff right now, but. It's just one of your stupid business practices that has pushed me so far away from you. So, you know, here I am. You know, I know everyone's like, oh, Metroid, 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 but it's like... Uh, uh. Oh, this is a... Very well, we are, we are in Innova, so, you know... You know... Nothing wrong with that. Anyway. But, uh, I guess now I guess it got mad that we, you know, you didn't respond. I'm sorry. It's just the edge. It's a little edgy like that. Let's, let's give him, uh, something to heal. Though, but, yeah. Yeah, I guess the potion is fun. Anyway, that, that's my little three. I, maybe I'll do a proper video on that later. Maybe, if I do, you've already seen it by now. But regardless, you know, that was my thoughts. Uh, I don't know. There wasn't a ton, I guess. The Dragon Ball Fighters was, looks amazing, but, you know, we already saw that. So, I did, it's very interesting that we saw it from the Xbox uh, show, though. I don't think it was even at the Sony one. That was weird. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, get edgy. Let's get edgy. Edge. Well, maybe, hopefully it evolves to 28. That'd be nice, convenient. Where is it? Okay. Boop. Boop. But, you know, sorry, I know I've got to work on how much I say that, but, you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, don't 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 let this lady doctor get you the edge. Anyway, like I was saying, I uh, I don't know, just I just wasn't too impressed with this E3. I'm sorry. Wow, we're really the edge. You just just right right down to business, huh? Anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, I wasn't too impressed by it, and I think uh, maybe I'm getting older and cynical, or just, I don't know. 
didn't, didn't do that much for me, I'm sorry. I, I was, um, uh, I don't know. That's how, that's how it goes. I did, uh, like, following it, but what I saw of it, like, some stuff looked cool, you know? I, people are all over, some people are all over the, you know, the Xbox thing, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think, The Edge? I mean, I guess this is, you know, my role, since Guy is the console gamer of our trio, you know, to, to talk about this. This is, this is Guy's role, his duty, if you will. But, yeah, I just, uh, I, I, I don't know, I guess since I'm the PlayStation guy, you know, primarily, but, but also primarily because Nintendo's just totally turned me the hell off. I mean, if you get me going, I could go on about them for ages, like far more, you know, Ooh. Let's get rid of Mud Slap, because we're never going to use that, and Bite at least has a flinch chance. But anyway, yeah, you get me going, I'll probably go off on Nintendo. Not because I dislike them, but because I do, and I feel they've let me down. So, you know, don't mix up those two people, when, just because, you know, I know fanboys, when you criticize, you know, with the people you like, it's like, oh, they must be a hater. No, I'm, I criticize because I'm the opposite. Big difference. And, you know... I can give a lot of Sony, Sony a lot of shit because, you know, I am a Vita gamer, but the Vita is a very strange animal because, you know, we're just going to, this is going to be a weird one. I feel a lot of that, the Vita just fell on, um, a, decent, a decent chunk of the Vita just fell on how people received it. A decent chunk of it does fall on Sony, but, you know, unpopular opinion here, I feel like uh, people have just been really dumb with it, had been, I don't know, I guess is it quote-unquote officially dead down. I mean, it's still getting games, but I think that's we're slowly going to start seeing that trickle away. At fine, I mean, some would argue it already has, but I think we're finally, I mean, for those who were interested in what it continued to get, I think we're finally going to start seeing that fade away. You know? I I think we've uh, started to see that with the Switch, which isn't necessarily bad. I, I'm not keen on the Switch for a lot of reasons, you know. Oh, beautiful the edge, but you know. It is what it is. People dig it, people like it. I, I don't know. Nintendo's got got a long way to go to win me back, and right now, the Switch has still has the biggest problem I have with Nintendo, and also the biggest reason that I think every complaint about Vita's memory card, I'm just gonna throw this here, is a load of bullshit, which is Nintendo never lowers prices on their goddamn games. Like, I'm seeing people, you know, rejoicing about how um, some Switch games, oh, they're down to $40. You know, if, if you have a fucking uh, Best Buy uh, rewards thing, you know, they're $60, like $60 games across the board are down 18 bucks. Like, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Nintendo, in general, though, just keeps their shit basically at hostage, because, oh, you know, you've got all these people making these excuses for them, oh, it's the quality, and, yeah, fuck off with that, no, seriously. Okay, yeah, this is turning into just a big trashing, uh, trashing Nintendo video, because, uh, it's we're grinding, I don't know, do you, do, do you like this kind of thing? Should I, should I do this more often? I don't know. But, uh, regardless, yeah, I just, I, I don't, I can't, you know, and that, for me, you know, the Vita memory card, go back to this topic, I'm actually gonna stay on topic for once, uh, the Vita memory card, it's like, you know, okay, I gotta buy this thing once. Then I get and can take advantage of and not have to stress about all these sales. All these sales, you know. Oof. Wonderful, wonderful, you know. But with Nintendo, it's like, ooh, we're here. We got it. Hold on a minute. Citizens, we've got the edgiest of edges. Our grinding episode may be uh, not so grindy after all. Come on, come on, the edge. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here's my edge. Here's my edgy edge. Ooh, he's a good edge. He's still glaring at me. He's like, oh, look at him. He's so, oh, he's so mad. He's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. So mad at me. Where do we got a croc card? Let's go heal him. Maybe challenge that gym. But anyway, the Vita memory card, yes, is more expensive than uh, comparable storage. Yeah, it's proprietary and all that other bullshit. And the way you handle data on the Vita is, in general, bullshit. I'm not denying any of that. But we're talking purely price here. For what you get for the money, you buy a Vita memory card once. 64 gigabytes, 100 bucks. Yes. Actually, I got mine cheaper, but that's not the point. I think it was like in between 80 and 90. Still, yes, it's not, it's not cheap for, you know, comparable stuff. Not the point. It is like, oh, Nintendo ones. You, you can get a Nintendo memory card for da 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 yeah. Here's the thing. If you're going to use the Vita memory card, here's where the big difference comes into play. 
if you actually intend to be using the Vita 64 memory card of the Vita versus 64 gigabyte memory card on the 3DS, pay the 90 bucks, whatever, 90, 100 bucks for the Vita memory card. Uh, we're gonna do a little more grinding because I'm on a, I'm on a quote unquote roll here. You pay that for the Vita memory card, right? You pay, let's say, 10 bucks for Nintendo's. Does, I mean, I'm not, right now they're not, but in the past. Vita had some really fucking good digital sales, and of course with uh, PlayStation Plus, although I've made a video about that one in the past, sales, and you know, two a month, at least, PlayStation Plus games, that memory card is going to get pretty full. Plus, you know, you got PSP games and PS1 games. You're going you're gonna to use that memory card, and it's generally going to be reasonably priced if you're a smart consumer. On the other hand, sure, your memory card on Nintendo 3DS is cheap, but eShop sales uh, suck. And you know, that you've also got to deal with how e the, the 3DS deals with uh, digital storage, which also sucks. I mean, Vita's not great, but it's better than that. Like, and even the Switch, the Switch still has that, by the way. The Switch still, you know, doesn't do data backups or anything. And yeah, with Vita, if you don't have PS Plus, you can't do the cloud and you got to back up to PC, and that's garbage, but if you've got the memory card, you've got PS Plus, which, oh no, it's 50 bucks, no, 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 Nintendo's 20 bucks now, but no. You got the Vita. Thank you. Thank you, come here. That's, the, you know, 50 bucks here, 60 now. That's, you know, your two games, the cloud storage, all that. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, I've, in my experience, it's been worth it. And, you know, even, it's, I originally got it just for my Vita, even though I had a PS3. I did never, when, the time, in the early years of the Vita, I never used my v, uh, PS3. Never. Because, you know, I was fine with just the Vita, but, you know, again, besides the point. Point is, I cannot take complaints about the Vita memory card seriously, or at least when you compare them to, because I mean, on its own, yes, overpriced, and that probably did when you just take it on its own and how consumers, you know, just said, oh, this is an expensive thing, da 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 da. But when you compare it to 3DS, like, and taking into the fact that you're gonna be using the goddamn thing, I'm sorry, but I can't do that because, in my experience, and just from what I've observed, uh, I hate to use this word, but objectively, being a 3DS gamer is way more expensive. Because, and the same well, same goes for the physical games. I mean, it is dumb the way the Vita does saves data and all that bullshit. I'm not denying that. I mean, Vita has got tons of flaws. We're not we're not arguing that at all. But like, uh, the, it's, it's the first, and that's not even getting into how like we're just talking price. Like, that's not even getting into how the Vita is just a better console. I mean, like. You know, specs, whatever we want to call that fancy nonsense. I mean, it's just better than the 3DS. But like I've said, I said in the past, the difference is Nintendo supported the 3DS, still continues to. Whereas, I mean, I think Sony's big fuck up was dropping it like a rock and not willing to just take the fucking hit. Because I don't think Sony was wrong on the memory cards necessarily. I mean, especially when they th the things came out. But I think once things got bad. I think they were wrong to just drop that shit. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, I think how they handled the situation once it became clear how things were going was what was wrong. Like, I mean, I, do, I, I can defend, you know, how things were initially, not so much how they handled it. At the same time, though, like I said, I cannot agree at all with how people are like, oh, you know. Like I said, I just, I don't, I don't. Because it's not, it's not, the thing is, it's just, like I said, I'm just I'm kind of rambling a little bit. It's not true. It is not true. The Vita was not and never will be more expensive than the 3DS when you're playing, including digital. Yes, base consoles be always more expensive, but I mean, here's the thing. The Vita is uh, technically just a better machine. I mean, that's kind of how it goes. Like... That's like saying, hey, I want that Xbox One X to be the same price as, you know, a freaking, I don't know, a Wii U or something. It's like, it's, that's not how it works. You can't, you can't ask for that. Are you stupid? I mean, like, it does more, it's better, it's more powerful. You can't, you, you, you can't have that. Like, even the freaking PSP is, as, I mean, just graphically, I think that's, like, on the same level or even better than the, um, the, uh, what are we talking about? 3DS? I mean, my fucking PSP got stolen many years ago, so, you know, along with a bunch of other stuff, so, you know, 
I uh, do not have mine anymore, and I can't. I have not been able to make a comparison. But you know, just looking at the games, it's like. I think I could still play them on my Vita, but I haven't in a while. Because, you know, it's just how it is, but... Still, my point is... The Vita got a lot... I, going back to my original point, my point is... I think a big reason for the Vita's failing... Like, yeah, I think we're at the point where we can say it failed. Was not because... Not just, rather. Because of Sony. But because of the people. Because of the consumers. It's like... It's like Early on, the thing did get a decent amount of Western and Japanese support, but it's like, the price was an issue. And I think at the time, when it just came out, you could argue the price was justified. Later on, Sony, you know, needed to drop it. They, they had to, if they wanted to, to, to uh, succeed, but they clearly just kind of gave up on it, as far as I can see. You know, they were like, oh, it's a, it's a legacy console, it's, oh, it's a... Uh... It's a companion device, and that's when they really fucked it, because the thing is still getting games. It has outlived the Wii U. And, you know, and the Wii U was able to still get some games that did really well for it. I mean, like, another thing, I know there was a big, I said, so, but see, the main thing Sony did really was, oops, they never put out stuff that would have made people really want a Vita outside of Japan, I think. I think that's the big one. Like, you never had, you know, it's Monster Hunter, it never had, it's Pokemon. And Sony has IPs that could have done that. And with a few games it did get that were like that, and did get some, it, it made multi-console. And I, I get why they did that, but some of the ones just weren't good. I mean, like, the Assassin's Creed game was buggy and not, eh. And the, I, I thought the Uncharted game sucked, but, you know, there's, there's, a lot of them were just too gimmicky. Like, I hate, you know, transitioning a little. Reviewers, you gotta stop being like, Hey, this game doesn't take advantage of all the things this console could do, therefore it is inferior. And da -da -da. It's like, no, that's dumb. Okay, I shouldn't, you shouldn't need to jam in a bunch of useless features that a game probably doesn't need because it's the game, it can have them. Like, sure, it would be, it's, it's great, it's peachy if you can, but it doesn't have to. You know? Like, I think a lot of people don't like that. You know, casual gamers, you know, I mean, I guess it's chasing the casual gamer but idea, but a lot of them also can tell. You know, when they're annoyed by that. And if, if anything, you could argue casual gamers have less patience for that kind of thing, or just less inclined to waste their time. Whereas, you know, the, the hardcore, they're probably more inclined to put up with that bullshit because it's, you know, a franchise they really like. But regardless, the Vita never had any uh, of those things. And, wow, I'm, I'm spending an entire episode of the Pokemon Nuzlocke talking about the fucking Vita, wow. But yeah, Vita's getting Undertale, though, and I have uh, never played Undertale, by the way, ever. I, like, I know very little about it. Jump, totally jump, but I've, I've thought about maybe doing a Let's Play of it, I don't know. Should I? Should I, Citizen? Should I play Undertale on this channel? You know, I've, I know so little about it. I'd, I'd thought about it, you know, I thought it might be interesting, but, you know, probably won't. I've been told it's something I would like a lot, but... And this must be a very riveting episode, just me walking, ramming myself into this, uh, this uh, woman here. You know, don't take that out of context, please. And just, uh, waiting for some doctors and nurses to show up. Don't take that out of context, either. But, yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna just, um, to, um, get one more, maybe? Or not? I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We got a Solosis. Hello there, little friend. Oh, and I think the edges now are... Ugh, he's the strongest now. Ugh. Well, the edges are a tough customer. I don't know. I keep, I keep saying, oh, maybe next time I'll do the grinding off screen. But, you know, this has been kind of fun, just me yapping on. Is this, is this a good episode? you consider this a good episode of the Pokemon White Poke Ranger Nuzlocke? Let me know. You know, the first time I did this, I clearly was uh, not able to come up with an interesting enough topic. But now I've clearly been able to just bounce off, bounce off of this woman as I uh, talk about the Vita and E3 and all that good stuff. So you know, here we are. We're talking about Vita. Not so much E3. What else? What else happened to E3? I didn't even watch the PC gaming show or Bethesda's because you know, the way I saw it, if Bethesda wanted. I, if I said this on another video, well, I'm just really going. If Bethesda wanted to have their thing so goddamn late at night, then I, I figured, you know what? They don't have anything worth showing. So that was my take on it. Is that what happened? I actually just don't even know what they even showed. To this, to this, to, I know uh, Skyrim got announced for VR and Switch. I know that, but I think Switch, the Switch one, was announced by Nintendo. Maybe not. Guys, I'm really going on and on and on. Hey, lady, I'm engaged, but we're in the forest. She doesn't know. Guy, what are you thinking? That's horrible. Don't cheat on Bianca. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Oh, we got one. 
don't don't get anything else. There we go. This has been a very uh, exciting episode of Pokemon White Pokemon Ranger Nuzlocke. Uh, Pokemon Ranger Nuzlocke, rather. Ah, I hope you've been enjoying it. Because we're going to kill this Ardino. Let's kill this Ardino to hell. The edge is so edgy. Oh my god, guys. It's the edgiest edge. Oh, he is so strong now. The edge. You're coming up. You're just coming up from behind now. I appreciate that. Because that, remember that one Ardino? Just put you to sleep last time. Just feel so worried. But now, you're taking down this, this doctor down. Maybe she's a radiologist or something, you know? Trying to get a look inside you, but you're not taking that. She slapped you away because you're so edgy and you're putting her off, but you're like, no, I'm the edge. I'm gonna bite ya. Edgy, that, that, edgy. That's not good, edge. Don't, don't bite the doctors. My god, they're worried about you. Maybe because you're, you're, like, you're so edgy. Hey, let's heal. Maybe, maybe take down another one. I don't know. Maybe you've really just been going today, huh? Yeah, it's a nice Saturday afternoon. And we're in Nimbasa City. Could I don't know. We could we? T I I try to not. I have not looked at the levels or anything. So you know. Oh boy. And yeah, I do. I, like I've said another time. Uh, just dropping what I was. Everything. I have uh, thought about what it would be like to do this uh, normal Nuzlocke of this, but I don't know. Would that be redundant? Because considering you know Nuzlocke's, as I'm finding, tend to run up for a while. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Maybe get one more Audino. I don't know. Maybe not. How are we looking? I think I think now everybody's kind of starting. Yeah, Goldie Tail's quite behind. Oh, Goldie Tail. Uh, she's uh, she's seeing the the impressive, uh, the manly, uh, the edge, and thinking about what what her uh, our got lost. Jay Sausage was then like, we've well, been this manly now. We'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. But uh, let's maybe get one more Ardino. Get to 32. When the heck does he evolve again, anyway? I doubt it's anytime soon, but you know, it wouldn't be great to go in there and just steamroll it. Just give me a miss. I better steamroll you. <laughs> oh, 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 very nice. Oh, gosh, I screwed that one up. Ugh, it's garbage. But no, Trubbish, I've said this before, Trubbish are adorable, as far as I'm concerned. Garbador, eh, not so much, but you know, while I'm really going, my god. I'm, I don't think I've ever been this talkative. I think maybe, uh,. That one Sonic video I did after uh, after my uh, surgery and stuff, but still, Jesus, listen to me. <sighs> yeah, does this, does this uh, video uh, entertain you people? Citizens, rather. Yeah, what do you mean? No, 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 I know what I meant. Jeez, don't, don't look at me like that. God, God. Up, 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 I hear it, I hear it. Anyway, yeah, citizens, if you, is, this, is this enjoyable? Are you all angry and dis- Ah, oh, it's one of these things. Are you all angry and in disagreement over my controversial opinions about the Vita? Because you know, I probably could just rip that audio off and uh, put it on a, a different video about the Vita. <laughs> but uh, regardless, citizens, uh, yeah, this has been, uh, I think we're good. So yeah, this has been just a guy playing the Pokemon Light Poke Ranging Azrak. Eh, screw it. Kitty Cat, we're, we're, we're good for the day. So yeah. Next time, we're definitely, definitely gonna give that Jim Lear a whirl, though we might, might, you know, just get Goldie Kale caught up, just because that doesn't matter, but I probably won't, I don't know. Anyway, citizens, this has been Just a Guy playing the Pokemon White Poke Ranger Nuzlocke, and until we meet again, farewell!